I just got back from the store because I went to go buy the ingredients because today I'm going to show you guys how to make capirotada. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Hello to my mother. Hi, the body. She's not shy, okay? <laughs> okay, Mario Ramirez from Box 11. <laughs> you are on The Bear Pantry Show <laughs> in Utah. Every Sunday, potato salad, stew chicken, rice and beans, and plantains. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Yeah. Our sales. I love our sales. <laughs> You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. Attack! <laughs> You're watching the Bear Pantry Show with my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I recently met this guy that told me about this recipe. Right? Um, I like bread pudding. I'll be honest with you. I love anybody's bread pudding, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this one because it uses cheese. So it uses this bread. What's it called? Bolillos, because the two L become a Y, right? Bolillos. I bought this at first thinking this was the bolillos, but this is softer and this is more stiff and they say you need it to be stiff. So the girl at the bakery at the supermarket told me, use this one. We're gonna use cinnamon sticks. And the guy that told me about the recipe said to use this, this uh, queso fresco. But the girl at the bakery at the store says, use this. She says, this is what my grandma uses. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to have trouble making this thing authentic. And I really think I should have bought two of these, the piloncillo. This is basically brown sugar. I've seen this stuff in the store all the time for many years. I did not know what this was. Okay. So we're going to be, we're going to be winging it guys. So the first thing I got to do, I'm going to do this small tray right here. I'm going to show this Joe. Do this small tray. I think I'm going to use the two cheese, the two cheeses. And I've got about five cups of water here on the stove. I'm going to put my fire on because we're going to be melting the sugar because this is rock hard. You want to hear? Rock hard. I've seen some people take like a mallet or a hammer to it and break it up. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to dump it in there and just let it melt. And of course, after this young man told me about this recipe, I watched a bajillion uh, videos on YouTube about it. Everybody has their own style of doing it. And I'm just going to like piece together something to make like a Frankenstein of the dish. And at the end, I'm going to be tasting it for the first time. So you guys are going to get my real reaction to this. And um, I've seen a lot of little tricks, a lot of little tricks people do. And I'm going to be putting in these tricks. But by no means am I an expert in this right now because this is the first time I'm doing it. All right. So first of all, I'm going to use four of these breads because they say six to eight but i think six to eight will give me like a nine by 13 pan and i've seen people slice the bread and then toast it because oh let me get this bag out of the way you guys like my little bag you know i'm selling this at my site right and it's cheap so um because in california they passed that law that you have to buy the bags so anywho i'm going to toast it on this not in the skillet because i don't want to burn the bread and i don't think i want to slice it because i don't like the way the serving looks when they dish it up, when it, the bread is sliced. I think I'm going to break the bread apart. I think I like the, that look better. But I guess that's just a look thing, okay? So let me go ahead and break the bread up. Yeah. You know, growing up in Belize, mom and grandma used to always say, don't break bread, only Jesus breaks bread. Did you ever hear that? Did you, Joe, do you used to hear that? Mm -hmm. They would tell you, cut the bread, don't break it, only Jesus breaks bread. I'm like, okay. Oh, all these rules, people. And I think this bread pudding they make during Lent for Good Friday and stuff in Mexico. I'm going to break these smaller, okay? Uh, but it's not Lent right now, but hey, I wanted to do something Mexican today because you guys are good to me. Whenever I put up a Mexican recipe, you guys share. Thank you so much, all right? So let me go ahead and break this up, and then I'll be back when we're sticking it in the oven. I have the oven coming up to temperature for 350, and it's at 330 right now. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Put the four sticks of cinnamon in there and the piloncillo because that's going to melt. So we'll come back and deal with that in a second. I'm testing to see if they're crunchy and yes they are. Don't turn off the oven okay because we're going to have to bake the bread pudding. So let me set that aside. And I'm gonna go ahead and deal with these cheese, cheeses. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and strain the syrup. This recipe also calls for cloves, 
but I hate the smell and taste of cloves, so I'm not gonna mess it up like that. But you can put that all right. I guess in Spanish, this syrup is called a miel. Miel, like honey, you see? It smells pretty good, but I'll be honest with you guys. I have never tasted a bread pudding that's not made with some type of condensed milk and um, evaporated milk, eggs, you know, that type of stuff. So this is kind of new to me. So right here. Now you're supposed to like layer the bread, right? I don't think you grease it. You're supposed to like layer the bread and then pour this thing on top of it. But I don't want to do that because the girl at the grocery store told me her grandmother dips it. She dips the pieces of bread in the thing and then puts it in. So that's what we're going to do. And to this, we're going to add raisins. And I have peanuts, so I'm going to add peanuts. And they say you can put almonds and bananas. Some people put bananas, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do raisins and peanuts, okay? So let's start dipping. The hardest part about doing this show, because I'm doing it from my very own kitchen, is that my family has to come through here sometimes to do their meals. So I was dumping the thing in here, right? Like the girl told me at the supermarket, and then scooping it out. But you know what? That's not working. Maybe that would work if I had slices, but I have these little pieces, and I don't want it to be too soggy, because that's what every video says. Don't make it too soggy. So what I'm gonna do is just use this little ice cream scoop here, and just kind of ladle some on here, on this first layer. And um, I tasted this just now, and it's not the kind of sweet that I like. It's what we believe in, say, brickish. Brickish. Is that the right word, Joe? Brickish? British. Uh, brickish. British. British? I don't know. I don't know what the word is, guys, but it's not very sweet. And even if I were to put more of the brown sugar, it's not the type of sweet that I like. I like a milky type of sweet. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna judge. We're gonna try it. So this one, they call Tija. Um, it's a drier cheese and it's really salty and this one's a more wet cheese and it's less salty and has a nicer taste so I don't know what I'm gonna do I think I might just use this cheese alone because I'm really fearful of using this cheese and mess it up and maybe I do like a smaller one and then try that cheese and tell you which one comes out better I don't want to blend the cheeses though I'm gonna put some of the raisin I'm gonna put some of the, the um, queso fres fresco fresco yeah queso fresco I have never had bread pudding with cheese where's the peanuts I, I had Joe let me grab the peanuts I thought Joe set the peanuts out for me just now he did just left it on the other counter over there so I'm gonna put some peanuts now I'm liking it already with the peanuts and let's put more bread I'm keeping a very open mind for this. This is different for me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and spoon more of the liquid, or the um, syrup. And then I'm gonna layer with cheese and raisins and peanuts again, okay? I didn't use all the cheese. I just feel like we have enough. So everything's layered and in between the layers I added the syrup. So I'm just gonna pour this on the top. We're gonna cover this with foil and bake at 350 for 20 minutes covered and then 15 minutes uncovered. Before I get it in the oven though, let me put a few little pieces of cold butter all over it. Okay, I'm gonna dice this up small. You don't have to do the butter, but I saw several recipes that did it and it looks so much more delicious. Just make it small. I'm just gonna layer it all over. So let's get it into the oven. And then now I'm gonna work on the second bread pudding, okay? For this one, I've used two of the loaves and I've sliced them and put some butter on one side only. And then I'm gonna stick it in the oven while that bread pudding bakes. I'm gonna use brown sugar because I don't have any more of the piloncillo, so I'm gonna use about a cup. I'm gonna use the same cinnamon sticks I did before. It's 20 minutes later, so I'm gonna remove the covering for this one to allow it to cook for another 15 minutes uncovered, and the bread is still toasting on the bottom row, as you see here. 
Let's set 15 minutes. This is 15 minutes later, guys, and I still think it needs to go a bit more because the cheese need to melt some more. While the other bread pudding continues to bake, we're gonna assemble this one. Take a look. I'm gonna use this pretty pie dish. It's still hot, the bread is still hot. And you guys saw earlier that I just sliced up two of the, the pieces, the two loaves, and then I buttered one side only, and I just kinda toasted it in the oven, all right? So let's do this. Let's break some of them. Just to fill in the gap, I'm gonna put some raisins. This is another design that I saw some people do. But I'm doing this because I want to use that other salty cheese, this one. The cotija. This is the one the girl from the store told me her grandma uses. It doesn't taste bad, but it's really salty. Now the other one that's baking right now, Joe doesn't think it's gonna look like bread pudding. He says it's gonna look dry on the top. So I don't know if we put enough of that liquid, but you know, you know this is the first time I'm doing it, so. Let's drench this one. What I'm gonna do is pour some of the syrup, and I use brown sugar for the syrup rather than the piloncillo, which is the blocked brown sugar. So I'm gonna douse this and let it sit here for like 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna put the next layer and then douse it again, okay? This cheese doesn't look like it melted so, so good, but let's see, yes, it's melted. Jory just asked me, how is this bread pudding? It's broken bread. I'm like, Jory, wait, let's dig in. This is a different type of bread pudding, Jory. It's supposed to be like for Lent, so you're not really supposed to be having fun things for Lent, right? Well, it looks bread pudding-y on the bottom. Hey, I don't really think that cheese melted so, so great, though, that um, uh, queso fresco. Let's see what the other cheese does, the one that the girl told me about. So it's still hot. Let me see if I can cool it down and taste it. And by the way, some people use um, shredded Vel Velveeta, uh, cheddar, mozzarella, but I wanted to go authentic. I don't think I got any of the cheese in that bite. I got the sweet part. When it tastes as you would expect, you know, brown sugar on bread. Oh yeah, I got a piece of the cheese. Wow. Um, I don't like the sound the cheese is making when I'm chewing it. You know, for me, it's not just taste, it's, it's texture. And if it sounds weird when I'm chewing it, I, I can't deal with it. Yeah, I couldn't hang with this cheese. Let me get more of the bread part. Well, the bread part is good. It's just sweet enough. It's not overly sweet. Of course, the raisins are awesome. Peanuts are awesome. I don't like that cheese. I don't like that. Um, what's what's it called again? Queso fresco. I don't like that one. It's too gritty when you're chewing it. It doesn't really melt well within the thing either. So I'm gonna wait for the other cheese that the girl told me to use, the cotija or whatever that one. I'll show you guys. I'm gonna wait for that bread pudding to be done. And I'm going to tell you if that one's better than this. But overall, the sweet part of it, you know, it tastes pretty good. So let's wait for the other one to get out the oven, okay? pudding so we already know what the rest is gonna taste like so we really want to find out how the cheese goes the so this one's ready to taste 
gonna taste that little bite. The bread, the cheese, and some raisins, right? And, and a peanut is in there. That's it right there. This cheese, the girl at the grocery store was correct. She said her grandma used this one, the cotija. This was way better than the queso fresco. I mean, it melted better. I like the salt from the cheese, the way it contrasts the sugar from the, um, the tea or the syrup that's on the bread. This is different. Honestly, no bread pudding is ever gonna match my mom's bread pudding. Y'all know that. But I'll try anybody's bread pudding. And so this was different. I would never have thought to put this type of cheese in bread pudding. Um, I would have put maybe cream cheese. You would have thought maybe that. So, yeah. Would I make this again? Honestly, I'm not sure. And if I made it again, I wouldn't do that cheese, that queso fresco. I would do this one. And I don't like when the bread's sliced up like this. Remember I told you guys that? I would break the bread up into pieces like this one, and I would use the next cheese. I probably wouldn't put the peanuts again, because I don't like how the peanuts got kind of soggy. Take a look at my sponsors. I want to thank you guys so much for always donating. You guys keep the show going. Thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And if you're in Belize and you're in the Georgeville area, check out Bellaco Water for your um, libation. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. You can check me out on BBN9 in Belize, find me on social media, and check out my other two channels.